hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem. Thank you very much. Welcome. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, and still, yeah that's right, you know don't you, you know. It's that time of month again isn't it, where we do Helmets of the Month. The best time of the month where the fans send their votes in to porkycorner at mail.com. No capital letters. Porkycorner at mail.com for those of you who uh, haven't got any cotton buds at home. Right, straight down to business, no messing about. In at number 15, Carl Froch. Carl Froch is not a helmet, but this is just trolls sending emails in saying Carl Froch should be in. And he's had a lot of votes in it last five days, mainly because. <laughs> People are saying that in their emails that he were complaining about not being in top 10 pound for pound. So I can see where they're coming from, but Carl Frotch should be top 10 pound for pound for the last 30 years all day long. Why he's not and why Amir Khan's not, I don't know, but he should be in that top 10 pound for pound. But these gimps from Gimpville Island who have uh, put him in, well, it's only uh, cost. Carl's the Roy Keane, isn't it, of uh, Sky Sports Boxing Punditry. But Carl Froch, number 15, a good hand like a lead balloon, but he'll take it on chin. He knows it's tongue in cheek, don't you, Carl? In at number 14, joint 14, same votes, Billy Joe Saunders and Dennis Hobson. In the emails, they're saying Billy Joe's in for what he's did at the beginning of the month. We've already gone over that in a in a, in a video, and I've, he's, I picked him as weapon at week. But the month is not a week; it's a it's a month. So Billy Joe son is in at fourteen. Dennis is in at fourteen because people are probably trying to cause problems with me. Dennis doesn't even run his Twitter, and he don't he don't bother with social media. But Dennis has had votes because. The same troll accounts have picked Dennis because they want to cause problems, but he don't bother me because I speak to him five times a day and God knows how many texts and we just laugh. But Dennis is in at 14, he'll love it, Dennis. Bit of PR for him, innit? In at number 13, the biggest rimmer from boxing me media. From newspapers, should I say. Gareth A. Davis. He's always there or thereabouts, isn't he? With shit on end of his teeth. Go scrub your teeth with bleach, Gareth A. Davis. You should be embarrassed with all rimming you do around Tyson Fury or, or all them other people around Tyson. Totally embarrassing. Get a feather dust around your flat as well. So Gareth A. Davis, pound for pound, Elmer Earth Month, Porky's Corner for April. In at number 12... It's Frank Warren's shoulder roll. That's right, good old Frank Warren, old fish eyes, a.k.a. the man with the dint in his head. Frank, you're talking rubbish lately about you want Wilder to fight Fury. Nobody wants to see that fight, Frank. So stop stalling and stop trying to stop the Fury versus Joshua fight. The fans want it, so stop trying to be a spoil sport, Frank. You know that you, you'd you rather block Joshua getting to Fury just to spite Eddie and be a sport, Frank, and make the fight. All right? You've been a Hall of Fame promoter. You know what you're on with, Frank, but stop being bitter. But Frank Warren, a.k.a. Old Fish Eyes, number 12, pound for pound, Elmer of the Month. In at number 11, Dillian the Can Man White. Well, we should change it from Dillian the Can Man White or the Body Snatcher. 
to Dillian, you can't get it, why? The can you can't anyone who wants it can't get it. You've not Ortez back, Wilder, Joshua at Wembley, Pulef, you name it, you've knocked them back, Dillian. You don't call Daniel Jabara or Joe Joyce. You pick your fights like Tony Bellew and Joshua. So Dillian White, number eleven, pound for pound Elmer at month, Porky's Corner for April. In at number ten, he should be higher. It's Eduardo for doing 275 interviews in a week. I think that's a record for you, in it, Eduardo? Camped in your bedroom, sweating like a pig. Sweating over this dad's own nonsense and gagging. Stressing out the border control to do these studio things in July. Who cares about studio fights? We want the fans there. But it is what it isn't, isn't it, Eduardo or Eddie Hearn? Or the new name I've given you, Thatch. Because it's combed all over the place, looks like a thatched cottage. So Eddie Hearn, number 10, pound for pound, element at month, piss off. In at number 9, closely behind Eddie, probably right back of him with his tongue hanging out, Darren, company man of the year, Barker, the biggest rimmer, at matchroom boxing. He's actually got a matchroom boxing tattoo on his arm opposite his Chelsea one. He should be embarrassed. Darren Barker, number nine. In at number eight, Ben Davidson for the cringiest interview I've ever seen in my life with Gareth A. Davis. Every time I turn YouTube on, there's Ben Davidson there. You need to achieve something in boxing before you can uh, start doing as many interviews as you're doing, uh, Ben. You need to start achieving something. You can't just jump in with world champions. Go learn your craft. Go learn your craft like Tesco Joe and Mark Tibbs and all them kind of people. Jimmy Tibbs. People wanting to get out there on IFL and Boxing Social and get the get a profile and jump in with world champions that are undefeated. That's not good, is it? Get and get a kid like from beginning and learn your craft. And then you'll get some respect. Nobody's saying you're not a good trainer because you are, but... Go and learn your craft. So Ben Davidson, number eight. In at number seven. The Machine. Anthony Fowler. Anthony Fowler. The Machine. What can you say about this man that hasn't already been said? Sheesh. His tweets are cringy. The guy's just a cringinator, isn't he? I loved it when Fitzy iced him. So Anthony Fowler, number seven. You're probably in. <laughs> You've probably been voted just for being Anthony Fowler. So, in at number six, here's Johnny. Johnny Nelson, the company man of the year at Sky. Now, Johnny Nelson is joined by Dave Coldwell in a joint number six this this month. They've, they've got the same amount of votes. and That's probably because they are, how can I put it, very, very similar. They're from the same gym, aren't they? So they've been fetched up the same way. They know how to play the game, don't they? Johnny blagged it, hasn't he? And Coldwell, <laughs> now, he, he, he's probably the biggest blagger out there, Coldwell. But it is what it is, isn't it? So Johnny Nelson and Dave Coldwell, pound for pound helmets at month on Porky's Corner. In at number five, Devin Haney for saying he'll never let a white boy beat him. He should be embarrassed, shouldn't he? If Carl Froch should have said he'll never never let a black man beat him. God, that that that'd be it'd be a front page, wouldn't it? So Devin Haney, you're an arsehole. And as for your promoter, Eddie Earn, well, when O'Hara Davis said he'd do an interview with Sun Newspaper, he got thrown out of match room, didn't he? Cost Bellew and Paul Smith and all all Smiths were complaining, weren't they? And blah de blah to Eddie Earn. Well, this is how I look at it, right? Oh, Ira Davis weren't even born before Hillsborough, so he wouldn't know about it like that. But why isn't Eddie Hearn getting rid of Devin Haney? Why not? Because there's millions of pounds at stake, isn't there? Devin Haney's, you know, he's a big star, isn't he? Oh, Ira Davis had been beat by Josh Taylor, and so it's double standards from match room, isn't it? So Devin Haley, Devin Haney, piss off. In at number four, it's Coogie Bear. Coogie. Rinse your mouth out with TCP. That's that's what I find. It kills germs. Because we don't know where your tongue's been. So we'll leave it at that, won't we? For all these, with all these compilations you're doing. So Coogie, Coogie Bear, Coogs. Coogan Cassius, you're number four. The bronze medal position in at number three. Is Tony Bellew, the bomber. That's note to do with uh, any bombings that, that have gone on in world, by the way. 
But he's called the Bomber because he knocks people out and he goes to war. Well, he didn't go to war in his last fight, did he? And uh, he's not lo looking so good in that SAS program, is he? But it is what it is, isn't it? Tony Bellew, the disappearing man. The man that's not beat a champion. He's got British, Commonwealth, European and a world title at home. All vacant belts. All gifts. All gifts. He's got two world title wins. BJ Flores were one. At a London Macabo the other. That is it. His two title world title wins. That is it. Oh my God. He's got less than Robin Reed, Clinton Woods, Richie Woodall. Oh my God. Two world title wins. Jeez. He's only got two more than Dave Allen. <laughs> he's only got two world title wins more than Dave Allen, Tony Bellew. But yet he's carrying off like a diva all the time. Disappear, Tony. Disappear. I see you more I see more of you now than when you were boxing. Do us a favour and disappear and don't come back. You give me an ulcer. In at number two, and these this is from the same accounts. This is how sad these people are. This is from the same accounts that vote with Carl Froch and Dennis Hobson in, right? Plus a few, plus a few more different ones. John Fury in at number two. Now we've already gone over the John Fury issue a couple of weeks ago. Although he has gone quiet about the Mickey Theo fight, we don't seem to hear, hear him much, do we? About John Fury, but people are saying that he's training up in. Uh, in Lake District, for like you know, like Rocky, for the, for this fight. So if he's gone quiet to train, that's good. But we all know that this fight's a load of old pony, and it's not going to happen. But the latest from Spencer Brown, the big agent on the scene, is that they're going to announce it on the fourth of May in the Midlands. That's what he said in an interview. He's going to announce it in one week. So 27th to the 4th is one week. So look forward to it being announced on the 4th of May. If not, we'll have to pull them up about it because there's talkers and the smoky bacon walkers. All right. And that leaves me with the number one gold medal position. That can only go to one person, can't it, for this month. David Costcutter Hay, the man that's for the last ten in the last ten years his best wins John Ruiz that were ten years ago and he was thirty nine. He'd done nothing for ten years and he's coming back to top his to top his piggy bank up. He's coming back to top his piggy bank up. And all you mugs out there that want to pay Sky pay per view and port with his excuses, he's probably going to wheel out some super. There's surgeons and there is super surgeons. David A will be wheeling out a super surgeon to say that he is stronger, faster, quicker than a speeding bullet. Well, we've heard it all before, David, haven't we? And, you know, it's like the boy that cried wolf in it. It's getting boring. And I think if David A comes back, the people that are at the top in boxing should hang their fucking heads in shame. Alright? Should hang their fucking heads in shame. So, let's just give you a quick rundown for the Porky's Corner YouTube Helmets of the Month for April 2020. In 15th, Carl Froch. 14th, Billy Joe and Dennis Hobson tied. 13th, Gareth A. Davis. 12th, Frank Warren. 11, Dillian White. 10, Eddie Earn. 9, Darren Barker. 8, Ben Davidson. 7, Anthony Fowler. 6, Dave Caldwell and Johnny Nelson. 5, Devin Haney. 4, Coogan Cassius. 3, Tony Bell, you the bomber. 2, Big John Fury. And number 1, David cost cutter hey aka the whore so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing don't forget to tune in to the boxing asylum on sunday night i've heard it's going to be a corker peace out <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, 
fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com. All right? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. All right? Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on trucking.